Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review We Live in Time, and this is the latest drama from John Crowley, who directed one of my favorite films, Brooklyn, and this film focuses on the story of an up-and-coming chef and a recent divorcee who find their lives forever changed when a chance encounter brings them together in a decade-spanning, deeply moving romance. And this is starring Andrew Garfield as Tobias and Florence Pugh as Amit. And first off, their chemistry is absolutely off the charts. They just click so well. They have incredible banter with each other. They're so charming. The chemistry is just perfect. And each of them separately as actors really give fantastic performances. There's so many great scenes, whether it's from the unexpected birthing scene to them having arguments to them having their first chance meeting inside the hospital and all of these different elements and situations throughout this film where each of these actors are able to sell such a wide range of emotions together. And you can see where this grief is building up and this is balancing between dealing with cancer and them trying to have a child and them connecting. And over the course of this time, there's so many wonderful moments. There's extremely tender moments. And I think Crowley's able to find that tenderness so authentically. There's a particular... one. One particular scene, which is one of my favorite father-daughter scenes I think I've ever seen in a movie that just sells so well and just hits so deeply and emotionally, this film is full of emotion. It is packed full of grief and love and just different types of love too, romantic and parental and... This film will make you feel so many things over the course of its runtime. I do feel like the nonlinear story structure becomes a bit distracting and a bit of... It feels more like... More of a trick instead of something that's actually fleshing out the story. There are some choice moments where I think how these scenes are edited together do increase emotional impact. But I don't know how much of this film really needed to be shown bouncing all bet around between times. But at the end of the day, this is a beautiful film with moving music and atmosphere and knows how to balance the humorous moments, the joys in life with the tragedy that happens over the course of this love story. Crowley really returns to form with this. Wasn't the hugest fan of the Goldfinch, but this definitely gets closer to that feeling of Brooklyn and just this sincerity of human connection and love. And this film really sells that in an impactful and poignant way. But those are my thoughts on We Live in Time. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.